Valves are shut-off or regulating equipment placed along the path of a fluid stream. They can either let or interrupt a fluid to flow, regulate the flow rate, or the current pressure. They are also equipped with actuators, a mechanism which controls the movable element for regulating or interrupting the flow. The solenoid valve is a type of valve equipped with an electromechanical actuator, usually a solenoid. In this video, we will show you how the solenoid actuator works, its advantages, and we will analyze the inside of a real solenoid valve. Watch also all the other videos on our playlist to find out all the other types of valves we use every day. JAWS, for over a decade, has been providing its customers with the best solutions for their supply chain, and in their catalogs you will find any kind of valve from the leading manufacturers. Valves with solenoid actuators can have the most varied shapes, but they are generally composed of the classic valve body in the lower part, and a block which contains the solenoid in the upper part. Together, they form a solenoid valve. Solenoid valves are used when it is necessary to control a valve remotely, therefore without a human operator, but by means of an automated system such as PLC. When the current flows inside the solenoid coil, it forms an electromagnetic field. In this way, the valve can be operated. If the valve is off, the normally closed type, the electromagnetic field attracts the plunger and consequently the disc itself letting the flow pass through. On the other hand, if the valve is normally open, the current flows in the opposite direction reversing the direction of the electromagnetic field, which now repels the plunger and the disc, and interrupts the passage of the flow, which is normally free to flow. When the current is interrupted, a spring makes the piston return to its original position. Let's now examine a real solenoid valve with a normally closed solenoid actuator. As we can see in the lower part, it is located in the valve body, upon which the arrow indicating the flow direction in order to carry out a correct assembly is placed. The flow that enters from the entry hole flows towards the upper part of the body, passes through a filter that blocks impurities, and finally it goes down inside the ceiling seat and continues towards the outward hole. In the upper part lies the casing, which closes the solenoid hermetically. It is equipped with electrical connectors and a printed circuit board for the electric current management. If the solenoid is separated from the valve body, we can see the plunger. It is equipped with two gaskets to make it slide over the armature. The stem and disc are connected to it. The pressure of the fluid in the inlet chamber and a spring keep the disc pressed on its seat, closing the passage of the fluid. When the solenoid coil is energized, the whole plunger, rod, and disc group moves upwards, overcoming the force of the spring and the pressure of the fluid. Compared to manually actuated valves, solenoid valves have the advantage of being extremely precise, instantaneously operated, and they work automatically. In fact, they are used in all possible applications in order to make operations more efficient in all aspects. Do you know of any types of valves we use daily? Watch the videos in our playlist. You will discover all types of valves that surround us. If you find this video useful, please let us know by leaving a like and a comment. You can also share it. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find out more about our next projects by visiting our website, jawscompany.com.